Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would do a daily vlog today instead of a weekly one and just kind of make it a little bit longer than like my individual days in my weekly vlogs and I'll take you guys around with me on all my errands. I don't really have that much to do today but it will make for a longer vlog because I feel like the more that I have to do, the more I actually forget about like taking my camera out. Sorry for the motorbike going past in the background. But yeah, also my hay fever is so bad today. I actually need to go pick up like all my hay fever stuff, like my eye drops, nose spray and antihistamine because apparently we're meant to have one of the worst hay fever seasons in a few years or something. I saw someone post about it on TikTok. And I already have pretty bad hay fever, like as it is. Um, so yeah, anytime it's like spring and it's a windy day, I just know I'm gonna have the whole shebang. Like my eyes are gonna be watering, nose is gonna be running, sneezing all day, all that kind of thing. First thing this morning, I just need to kind of like clean up a little bit around the house. My house is actually pretty clean, like as it is. Um, I'm just gonna like put away some things. You guys kind of know the drill. I feel like I kind of do the same thing in like every vlog. Love is everything. The boy is mine. Smelly. <laughs> you smelly. Careful. You smelly. Oh, pretty girl. Pretty girl. Guys, that's literally like all the cleaning I have to do because my house is actually pretty clean at the moment. Anyone's wondering, this set that I'm wearing is from White Fox. I think I'm actually going to wear this um, when I do all my little errands today. I might chuck like a little white. Um, what's it called? Like long sleeve shirt over the top. Speaking of white fox, I do have a package here for them, for them, from them, that got delivered yesterday. So I'll unbox that for you guys. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna give Boo a wash because she needs it. She's like, are you talking about me? What? Also, I just use baby shampoo, and it makes my smell so good. I love the smell of baby shampoo. Oh, boo, no. time I give her a shower she gets like so hyperactive she's like mom I can't believe you just put me through that ah uh ah -uh. bro every time that's why I don't even bother trying to make this look nice because she just look what she does every time every time I'll show you guys what I got from White Fox it's currently 9.51 and I have a nail appointment at 11 so I'm probably going to leave here in like 45-ish minutes to 50 minutes. So I'll just show you guys quickly what I got. I don't even remember what I got. But we'll see. I'm going to try all of this on for you guys. But the first thing I got is just this black long sleeve little mini dress. Um, I actually have this in white. I've posted a photo in it in the white so i picked it up in the black the thing i found with the white was that it was like a little bit short for me so i decided to get the small in this one and i think it'll um still be fine but hopefully it's just a little bit longer than the white one was i also got this dress right here which i actually also already have in the black i wore it in bali posted a photo um in that i don't know if i'm going to try this on for you guys because i don't actually have like swimmers to go underneath but i'll insert the photo of um 
me wearing it in Bali and then also a photo of it on the model from the website. But it's actually really nice. So I picked it up in this peach color as well, which is new. So perfect for like spring, summer. So I just got this white play suit. It's just like a straight cut neck, little spaghetti straps, you know, nice and simple. This is the fabric close up. Pick this one up in a size extra small. And then I also just got this little corset top right here in the white color. I got this one in a size small. I always like to get the corsets in smalls just to make sure that it fits my boobs. I also picked it up in the khaki color. I love khaki. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, it just kind of like crisscrosses at the front. It's like a denim material as well. So yeah, I've got that. And I just got this white short sleeve top. Their basics are so nice, you guys. So I thought I would pick this up. I actually have the long sleeve version, which I just uploaded a photo in last night actually on Instagram. But yeah, I thought I'd get it in the short sleeve version as well because I really like this material. It's super stretchy um, and it's like a nice cotton material. And then last two things i also just picked up this little mini skirt i picked this one up in a size small and to match that skirt i just got this top right here which has like stitching in the middle here at the front and then it also has like little cutouts on the side so i'm just gonna oh i need to sneeze wow my a fever today is so bad so i'm just gonna try those on for you guys and i'll show you the first one hey. so guys i have that little black on a set but i paired it as a set that i showed you guys before the skirt is actually a skirt so there's like inbuilt shorts in underneath i feel like i definitely should have picked up an extra small on this one so it does run true to size you don't need to like size up or size down or anything um just for reference for you guys it fits really nicely i'd probably even actually pair the top with like some low waist black linen trousers. I think that would look super nice. But yeah, that's the first little outfit. Here is that khaki green top. I love this one. I'm getting content tomorrow, so I might even wear this tomorrow and just wear like cute little jeans with it. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that I picked this one up in a size small because I feel like the extra small just would have been a little bit too tight around my boobs. But other than that, this actually fits so nicely i'm so sorry about this lighting you guys like i'm trying to make it brighter but it's just like not really working out for me to be honest okay here is the white one super nice i wish they released like matching mini skirts i think that would have looked so nice but yeah i love like the denim so that's the white one we have the white top which this is so simple i mean i probably didn't even really need to try this on but Next up, we have that white play suit. This actually fits super nice and it's not see-through at all, which is really good. I'd probably style this with just like um, a white button up over the top and just some sneakers. This is that long sleeved dress. Again, as I said, I did have this in the white and I got the extra small and I just felt like it was a little bit too short for me, but this is the perfect length in the small. It's obviously not as tight like around the waist as the extra small is, but I still think it's fine. I'm going to Byron with James's family on Thursday and Friday night, so I might actually even just wear this to Byron on Thursday. We're going to go to the farm and get some breakfast and that kind of thing. So I think this will be perfect for that. Um, it is getting quite hot here on the Gold Coast, but I feel like it is a little bit colder in Byron, so I think that... A longer sleeve little dress like this will be perfect so that's everything that i got now i'm gonna have to clean all of this up tomorrow i'll either get content in this play suit with like a white button up over the top or i'll do um one of these with some trousers but I'm not too sure yet Hi guys, um, as you guys saw before, I did end up getting changed. Um, oh, I'm just wearing like a tracky set from White Fox and that top that I showed you guys before, the one that I tried on. I forgot my lip balm. I don't know when I became such a lip balm whore because now I can't live without having lip balm on my lips. But anyways, I am just about to pull up to my nail appointment, my first one. Um, 
I go to a door dolls parlor. I've said that a million times, but that's where I go. And there's never any parks out the front, ever. Never. <laughs> Why? I'm just going to park here. good so i just parked up i've got five minutes until my appointment so i'm doing my nails as you guys can see i bit off two i was honestly stressing out the other night watching the afl it was collingwood versus um sydney whatever they are and the last quarter especially like that last 10 minutes stressed me out so much so i started biting my nails off um so we're just gonna get them fixed my appointment wasn't meant to be for another like three days and i'm going to queenstown next friday so I've got to somehow make these last two whole weeks without me biting them. I think today I'm going to go back to just my square and do French. I do like the oval, but I don't know. Square is just like a bit more me, I think. So yeah, we're going to do the super short French and hopefully that'll stop me from biting them as well if they're not so like long. Um, but yeah, I'll just take you guys in there anyway. I'm going to go to Pack Fair, do my toes at Paintbox. Um do a couple of other little errands. I might get a couple of things from Coles. Oh, I love this song. And then after that, I've just got to go to an alterations place and get some jeans altered and also some linen pants before I go to New Zealand. I've been meaning to get the linen pants that I have altered for so long. Um, literally like almost a year now. But I just haven't gone around to doing it. are done you guys they look so nice and fresh they look so good um so i went quite a bit shorter just so that that'll hopefully help me not bite my nails over the next couple of weeks but they should be fine like they just need to last me 15 days and then we're good <laughs> Um, alrighty guys, I am back. Toes are done. Don't know why I'm showing this for free. <laughs> this is what they look like. You can't really tell on camera, but they're like super pink. Hang on, I need to do a close up and better lighting. But honestly, they're just like way too baby pink. You can't even really tell on camera. Like they don't look that bad on camera, but in real life, it literally looks like this foot doesn't look that bad, but this foot we had to put an acrylic on it. Because my toe was like that short because it came off. Um, but, but yeah, I just feel like they're a little bit too pink. So honestly, I think I'm going to be over it by next week. And I'll probably have to get them to like change it to just white. Anyways, I did that at Pack Fair. I got a couple of things and then I went and got my jeans altered. So I'm going to go pick that up tomorrow. And then I had to go back to Pack Fair because I realized I forgot to get... Um, more pay mats for Boo and Maya's gonna be looking after her this weekend. So I just got some more um, I got a couple other little things from the shops as well. So I'll just show you guys. I got this massive First off, I got another book. I ended up picking up another Colleen Hoover book She's honestly one of my favorite authors. I know she's like trending right now on TikTok with ugly love and it ends with us which I've read both of those books before and I love them but honestly like not even just saying this because she's like trending um i've been reading her books before she got like huge huge on like tiktok and instagram and stuff she's actually been huge for years but anyways i yeah just love her books and she's really one of the only authors that i can actually like get into and like 
get lost in her books and read them in like a couple of days. Whereas other authors, like there's this one book that I've literally been reading for like six months now. I only read like 15 pages of it while I'm at the pool and then I just get bored of it. It's starting to get interesting now, 150 pages in. But like Colleen Hoover's book, I could probably read this in like three days. I remember it ends with us. I actually read it in two. Um, like one day I just read it for like eight hours straight. So yeah, anyways, I yeah got this book called Maybe Someday. I haven't really heard many people talk about this, but it really seems like one of my books. I don't know. I love books that like make me cry, which sounds so depressing, but you know. <laughs> and then I popped into Priceline, the Eyelore Gimme Gimme Lashes. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Gimme Gimme Lashes. And what I do is I cut these in half. And then I end up actually getting like quite a few wears out of these. So I use one half like three times and then the other half like three times. So I end up getting six uses out of one pair. And it's only like $25 for two. So it ends up being super cheap. Also got this, which looks like a bit more of like an everyday one. As you guys can see, this one's a little bit more like thick. So it's better for full glam looks. But yeah, I got like a thinner one. Thought that might be better for like my makeup makeup looks. And then I just got another one of my next brow pencils. Because that was on sale. And anytime I see it on sale, I just kind of get one or two. I still have a few at home, but that's fine. And then as I said, I just got some more P mats for Boo from Kmart. Oh. Uh, we also have cooling racks because the other night I was making wings and I really needed these saw them and I was like I never want to be in a situation again where I'm looking for cooling racks so got those and obviously they come in handy when you're like trying to kill off other things and then I just popped into the fruit market after and I got some oranges and oh geez. I got some these are actually mandarins they're huge um and I also just got some bananas and that is it. Also, I knew that bag was feeling a lot lighter than it did when I left the shops, but I also actually popped into Calvin Klein and got James some more underwear. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, the Calvin Klein at Pac Fair, they always have sales. They were having 40% off store wide today. So I ended up getting him like a pack of five Calvin Klein boxes for $70. And that was like, I think it, is usually like 1.30, so that was pretty good. Okay, so hopefully I unlocked my car and hopefully no one stole them. Also guys, how cute are these pigs? I got these two. Um, this is like our, well, one of our like first trips away. It was our first like plane ride to somewhere together. Um, that was when we went to Cairns in February. So cute. I love that photo. Mostly because my jawline looks good, but also like good memories. That's honestly one of my favorite trips we've had together. And there's him eating his ice cream, his cold rock. So cute. I get like teary eyed whenever I see that, to be honest. Because <laughs> no, why am I actually about to start crying right now? <laughs> Okay guys, so it's time to make dinner now. I'm just gonna make a meal that I've actually made before in one of my vlogs. Um, it's just like a quick chicken, potato, and veggies meal. I've got a piece of chicken breast here that I need to use. Um, it doesn't go off for like another two days, but I just wanna use it up tonight. I've also got some green beans that I need to use, and then a couple of potatoes, so. We're just going to make my go-to um, chicken veggies and potatoes. And I only have three little potatoes, but honestly, that should be enough. I'm going to cut these into like little baby chippies.
honestly think I'm just gonna put these all together in the oven. So one half, I'll do the potatoes, my little fries, and I'm not going to season these because I am going to put peri-peri salt on them when they're done. And then I'll put some beans, Sizzle some olive oil on top, and then I'm just going to salt the green bean side. And there we have it. I'm just going to chuck this in the oven. Should give these a bit of a mix around. Put those in the oven for like 20 minutes. And then literally with the chicken, I'm just gonna cut it up and put some old bay seasoning on it. If you guys watched one of my last vlogs when I made this, I'm literally just doing the same thing. It's such an easy quick meal, like weeknight meal, so yeah. 